Hi, I'm Mike. Welcome to my shop here in South Texas. Today we're going to turn a walking stick. And uh, you could use it as a whooping stick while you're walking if you need to. Anyway, we're going to turn it out of some 2 inch white oak stock. I plan to use this next week when I go to SWAT, uh, Southwest Association of Turners in Waco, Texas at our annual symposium. August 26, 27, 28. Uh, if you're near Waco, that's the place to be. You don't need to walk with it or whoop with it. You can poke somebody with it. Okay, let's turn it. I start getting it round with an inch and a quarter roughing gouge. I begin tapering this from the bottom to the top. In other words, from the tailstock to the headstock. I begin to get some vibration here, so I use my left hand as, as a steady or a fulcrum to lessen the vibration as I'm turning. I've gotten far enough now that I can mount my steady rest. I find out that I can only get three of the wheels to make contact. The fourth wheel hits one of the bottom wheels, so this makes me uh, modify my steady rest for the next project. I ended up cutting one of the, the uh, handles off and moving it to the other side, and I'll show you that in a later video, how that worked out. Because of only three wheels making contact on the spindle, I added a second steady rest to help hold it. And it does help, but it's in the way of my turning quite a bit and a little bit uncomfortable for me to use this way. I use my calipers here to help size the foot for the copper fitting that I'm going to use. I slide the copper fitting onto the foot so that I can have some visualization of my taper. I thought I would use my beading tool to turn some beads on the handle, but I had forgotten that white oak is not the best wood to turn this type of beads on because you get a lot of tear out. So I ended up cleaning it back up with, uh, with my gouge and just turning one bead in the top portion. Start sanding at 80 grit and I go through the grits all the way to 600. I add some sanding sealer after I finish sanding. I'm using a lacquer and lacquer thinner 50 50 mix for my sanding sealer. Put the sanding sealer on with a foam brush while the lathe is spinning at low speed. I use a 3M vapor mask because this stuff is not good for you to breathe.
some uh, life on poly from brush on poly. Uh, simply uh, mixing it with some uh, mineral spirits. I don't use a lot of poly, so I'm just going to make my own wipe on for my uh, walking stick slash whooping stick. I'm just going to mix it 50-50. Uh, I'm going to use uh, something that you can it in. Wide mouth jar from Walmart. Open it like a baked pan. The same with the lid. Write what's on it in the day. As I'm new to this, I'm going to try just using my blue shop towel to wipe this on with. do it with the with I don't use poly very often but this worked out pretty well let's sit a while and I'm gonna put another coat or two on I need to drill a hole for my leather string so I'm putting a couple pieces of tape on just to uh, keep me from having tear out when the drill bit comes through the wood and then I use a center punch to help me get a starting point for my bread point bit Now just a little tiny piece I have to remove with a pocket knife. It's pretty much finished at this point, except for parting it off. I tie the leather string on, and it's ready for walking. I found out it's really hard to take a picture of a stick. I'd like to thank everyone that has subscribed to my channel. You're very much appreciated, and thank you for watching.